Egg yolk emulsion is a mixture of egg yolk and a buffer solution or sodium chloride solution. It is commonly used in microbiology and related fields as a growth supplement for bacteria and other microorganisms. Egg yolk emulsion is specifically used in bacterial culture media preparation as a growth supplement for checking lecithinase activity of bacteria and for the bacterial identification. In this video, we are going to show you the detailed procedure for the preparation of egg yolk emulsion. Welcome to Microchem's experiments. Be with us, be a laboratory expert. The method for the preparation of egg yolk emulsion involves five steps, such as diluent preparation, disinfection of chicken egg outer surface, removal of albumin part, mixing of yolk with diluent and storage of egg yolk emulsion. Throughout the procedure, we need biological safety cabinet, autoclave, micro pipette, tips, vortex mixer, glass vial, chicken egg, absolute ethanol, sodium chloride and isopropanol. Let's go for the laboratory works. First of all, we will learn about the reagent preparation necessary for this procedure. We can prepare normal saline solution by dissolving 8.5 g of sodium chloride crystal in 1000 ml distilled water. Sterilize the prepared solution by autoclaving at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 pounds pressure for 15 minutes. Cool the solution to room temperature and store at 4 degrees Celsius until use. We can prepare 70% ethanol solution by mixing 70 ml absolute ethanol with 30 ml distilled water. In the main procedure, we first need to disinfect the outer shell of a chicken egg. To do this, take an amount of 70% ethanol in a glass beaker. Choose a fresh chicken egg and clean the outer surface of the egg using a stiff brush to clear foreign object if present. Now, Soak the egg in 70% ethanol solution for one hour. After one hour of soaking, drain and discard the ethanol solution. Take out the egg from the solution and dry it using clean tissue. Now, disinfect the egg again using 75% isopropyl alcohol solution. Dry the egg using another piece of clean tissue. Disinfection of egg surface is completed. In this step, we will remove the albumin part carefully keeping the egg yolk intact. Crack one end of the egg hitting gently by a metal spoon or any other metal body. Remove the cracked part of the eggshell and discard. Drain the white part or albumin part of the egg carefully as much as possible. While draining of the albumin, care must be taken so that yolk remains intact. Make the shell opening widen so that most of the albumin part can be removed.
Care must be taken to avoid falling down of the yoke part. Removal of albumin should be done in rotation basis to make it most effective. You can see that most of the albumin is removed completely. Only egg yolk is left which is still intact. The outer layer of the yolk is not disrupted. In this step, we will mix a certain amount of yolk with a particular amount of diluent or normal saline. Take a sterile vial to which we will prepare the egg yolk emulsion. Attach a wide mouth tip with a micro pipette. If wide mouth tip is not available, cut the regular tip to make its mouth wider using a sterile scissors. Insert the tip into the yolk disrupting it and transfer 1 ml to the sterile vial. In this way, transfer total 6 ml of yolk to the vial. This is 6 ml of pure yolk without containing the albumin part. Now, Add 14 ml of sterile normal saline solution to this yolk. But if you want to prepare 50% emulsion, 
Add 10 ml normal saline to 10 ml yolk. You can also use a sterile pipette or measuring cylinder to transfer normal saline. In all steps throughout the whole process, aseptic techniques must be followed. Attach the cap tightly to make it airtight. Mix the yolk with normal saline by hand shaking. Handshaking should be done gently to avoid or minimize the foam formation. Make a homogeneous mixture of the egg yolk solution using a vortex mixer. Thirty percent egg yolk emulsion is prepared successfully. Egg yolk emulsion is now ready to use in microbiological analysis. After the preparation, we should store the emulsion if not used immediately. Store the prepared emulsion at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for 3 months maximum.